So here we have a rectangle, which implies, because a rectangle has parallel sides, that this shape within the PLMS must be a trapezium. And the area of a trapezium is half A plus B times H, where A and B are your parallel sides, so that's 10 and 4, which makes 14. And H is the distance between the two parallel sides, in other words, the width of this rectangle. We are told that that area has to be 21. Well, a half of 14 is 7, which means that H had to be 3, i.e. Right? that had to be 3. Now, the area of a rectangle is quite simply length times width. So that would be 10 times 3, which is 30. Now, the reason why I work out that area is because we already know that this area is 21. If I take 21 from 30, that leaves us with 9 which means that each of these triangles must be 4.5 each. Now the area of a triangle is half the base times the height. And that should equal 4.5, he says. So if I put B as 3, that works, which implies that the base MR should equal RS. And likewise, if I go to this side, which is the one that we're actually looking at, the QL must equal 3 and the PQ must equal 3.